Good morning. It's Wednesday, November the 25th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so that you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. I have three press releases for you this morning, two from the Canadian side, one from the U.S. side, and two halts to report on. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. But before we do, reminder time, December 3rd and 4th, the Agoracom Online Golden Commodities Conference taking place right here. We've got a lineup of great speakers and great companies. December 3rd and 4th, put in your calendars. Now, let's get down to the news. Our lead story comes out of a company called Uracan Resources. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol URC. They're announcing additional areas of significant uranium mineralization in their Costa Bell claims. The A4 zone extended to 1,500 meters potential strike length, which remains open and includes, this is the highlight here, folks, 12 meters grading 0.123% uranium. So some pretty good numbers there. The mineralized zones at Costa Bell are generally open in all directions as channel sampling was limited to areas of existing outcrop exposure, means there's great uh, potential there for more discoveries. About the company, they are exploring for shallow bulk tonnage style uranium mineralization in Canada that lasted 37 cents, high of 48 and a half cents, low of 12 cents, market cap of $33 million. Moving on to our next company, Hinterland Metals. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol HMI. The company is announcing that they've acquired the Windy Fork Rare Earth Elements property in Alaska. It was acquired by staking 2,800 hectares, uh, which was approximately 235 kilometers northwest of Anchorage, Alaska. The Windy Fork property covers two documented rare earth element showings. Now, I've got a quote from President and CEO Mark Fiquette who states, The obvious advantage of Windy Fork is that the placer gravels may offer rare earth element production perhaps as early as next summer, whereas the Windy Fork complex offers long-term exploration potential. A little bit about Hinterland, they're focused on precious metal exploration in Quebec, Ontario and Manitoba. They also hold properties in the Nunavut and Nova Scotia. They're last at seven cents, high of 10 cents, low of one cent, market cap of $4.3 million. Disclaimer time, they are an Agoracom client and I forgot to mention it before, Uracan is also an Agoracom client. So as always, make sure you do diligence on each one of the companies that you see on our show. And finally, we've got China Zhengsheng Minerals, they trade on the bulletin board under the symbol CHGS. They're a high-tech industrial materials products company in China. They're announcing that they've renewed full-service contracts for refractory products with three Chinese steel customers for another year. The combined total value of these three renewal contracts is approximately $7.3 million, and that's U.S. dollars. Uh, the company's last at $2, high of $2.15, low of $0.25 cents market cap of approximately $48 million. Got two halts to report on. Schneider Power Inc. on the venture under the symbol SNE, halted pending news. And Abode Mortgage Holdings Corp. on the venture under the symbol ABD, halted pending news. That's a wrap for today's show. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you join us again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts here at the Open for you.